We are in and waiting, and KCM is here. And Cleto should be here in a few minutes. <laughs> Someone has changed their name to Go Cletos. <laughs> we love you, KCM. It's not about you. Everybody loves KCM. And uh, if he wins today, I will certainly be cheering him on in the finals because he's so exciting and because, well, hashtag kill Kaylee. You need to, you need to root against Kaylee just because he wins so darn much. Too good. Too good to be rooted for. That is his blessing and his curse. I'm probably just going to fidget nonstop, so sorry about that. KCM's here. Still waiting on Kletos. KCM is no longer idle. This is probably happening. This is probably happening. Thank you, Iggy. Don't forget to have fun. It it is fun. This is this is fun. The circus is fun. Um, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> uh, a lot of the stuff is fun in retrospect. You know, it's more like satisfying. In the moment, it's not always fun, but that's okay. <laughs> Hello, banana. I was going to say something, Banana, about your hazard match, but I don't know if anyone here is avoiding spoilers. So I will only say it went the way I guessed it would went. It would went. It would go. I am not myself right now. I am not myself. 82 is not that high. Uh, it's high for me. My resting heart rate when like nothing is going on is like 66, 67. It's a little, a little below uh, a normal resting heart rate, which is supposed to be 72. Um, where it's really going to get out of control, I think is when either one of them is in the mission win countdown. Uh, maybe Kletos in particular? I, I don't know. I think I'm going to be more nervous about when maybe when KCM's in the mission win countdown because I feel like Kletos is, has a decent chance of getting a spy win or two by him. It's mostly going to be can he, can he snipe consistently? Can he, can he win like five out of six sniper games? That's what I think it's going to have to be. Um, because KCM Spy has been ridiculous, and that's probably, I think, what it's going to turn on, because KCM will hold a shot a lot, and if Kletos is not obvious, and, you know, just gets his missions done, which he normally does, then I think he could he could absolutely win those. So, in a way, I'm more nervous about Kletos' sniping than his spying, but I'm let's be honest, I'm nervous about all of it. <laughs> I'm nervous about absolutely all of it. I'm just nervous. Nervous isn't the right word. Anxious. Anxious is the right word. I want it to happen. I want to know. I want to know what's going to have happened. I want to know what will have happened. It's the uncertainty. It's the tension of not knowing what's going to happen. That's kind of the worst. Hello, a bear. I like to imagine a bear doing a stream like this because it would just be silent. <laughs> And maybe if he made the championship at the end, you just hear, woo, yay, and then off off the air. Heart rate would never go up. Yeah. What's, an, what's a bear's resting heart rate? Hang on. 
spare resting heart rate. I'm going to find this out for you guys to distract myself. So when bears hibernate, um, it goes from a standard, yeah, 55. Okay, we, we all Googled the same thing. Fair enough. Congratulations, you can use Google, same as me. But it looks like when they hibernate, it gets down to 14, which is disgusting. Wow. Okay, I can't, I can't match a bear. An actual bear, not a bear. Maybe I can match a bear. Yeah, I, I think it. I, I don't think it's gonna hop into red until we get to a hundred. You know. Yeah. Sorry, quick line. This wasn't up to me. I mean, this the match is happening, so I had to. I had to do it or not. I've kind of just been checking my phone for the last couple of days. Cool sign. Yes, I. Thank you for reminding me. Credit where it's due. This uh, that sign, that abolish diamond sign, is a screenshot from a WWE, a wrestling event where Quicklime was at and held that sign up so it was visible on the broadcast, which is, I think, going to be my legacy by the time all's said and done. Yeah. So I appreciate, I appreciate that. I'm going to move, I'm going to move the stream elements around a little bit here. It's a little tight fit. I've been fiddling. Let's move everything around since I'm just waiting here anyway and I'm feeling nervous. This doesn't really line up as well as I'd hoped now. Should we move everything? Eh, can we abolish platinum? No, platinum, ah, come on, platinum's... Platinum scary, but come on, man. We don't want to dilute this campaign. Mm, this is all. Why can't they center? Yeah, I know. It's it's not the. Yeah, I don't like it. Maybe I can turn off my little thing. I'm just screwing around here. Is the thing. I'm just. I'm deliberately doing this so I don't have to think about everything else. I'm just clearly avoiding this. All right, let's move everything up. Ooh, let's move everything up a little bit. Let's move the little hashtag. Whoopsie. I'm still getting used to Hobbs Studio specifically. There's Kletos. Okay. Okay. There's Kletos. Hmm. Well, good, because I'm almost done with this anyway. Oh, okay. They are probably going to start drafting. I would think. I would think that would be next. I would think so. I suggested to Kletos yesterday that he ban Modern and double ballroom. Yeah, they just switched their Steam name. Nobody. <laughs> if somebody actually spent 25 bucks for that bit, you know, respect. I'll probably have to reimburse you because that's cool. I'm going to keep fiddling with these while I'm waiting because it's better than thinking about what's about to happen. Make that heart rate big there, yeah. There we go. There we go. How we doing? No, that's not great. That's not great. Uh, is that pretty good? That's pretty good. I don't know. It's a little jank. It makes it charming, right? That's what I hear. Okay. Okay. I don't have the uh, browser window capture thing set up, but I'm just going to narrate what's happening. Here comes the draft code. KCM is in the room. Okay. 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 And I am now spectating. Okay, we're in the draft. Kletos is about to join. Rustic, yeah, I like that. This is a deconstructed stream. Was Quicklime the first to say you're the track? Maybe. Yeah. That sounds right. You were definitely one of the first. You, you've de at the very least, you're, you've helped popularize it, and I appreciate that. Do we have a nickname for you guys? You know, my throngs, my ones and ones of fans. Like trackers or something. Are you trackers? <laughs> That's, that'd be pretty cool. Decide amongst yourselves. Decide amongst yourselves. Okay. Mm. Klesos has not joined yet. Oh, God. I feel like, my, I feel like I'm, my heart's already beating harder and nothing's happened yet. Warners? That's so hard to say. It sounds like Warner Brothers. Yeah, Opie's been saying go Kletos for a while. Yes, I think he might have said that to me first. Not that it's... I mean, do you really want to take credit for something so unimaginative? <laughs> <laughs> I The first time I remember, I remember seeing Year of the Track was 
uh, when Dowsey streamed KCM, my match against KCM last season, where it was 3-0, and I went to 3-0. and That's when people started saying it. And I did not make the finals, despite starting 3-0. and Okay, so they're already in here. I think they might have used a different thing. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think they switched draft rooms. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Okay. But ballroom makes sense because I suggested he... Okay, so I don't know what the draft is, but I'm guessing... I'm guessing Kletos took my advice and banned Modern and uh, and all that. Is heart rate frozen? Uh, shouldn't be. Let me take a look here. <clears throat> oh, let me take a look. Let me take a look. <clears throat> okay. Maybe now. Maybe my phone was a little funky. I don't know. We'll see. We're getting into it. Oh, God. Mm. Here we go. And we're in. KCM spying first. Okay. It's KCM is queen. And I mentioned before, like, the Kletos sniper games are the ones I'm most curious about. No, I think it might have gotten stuck there. I think something might have happened with my, my phone there. Actually, I'm going to try to turn this off so the phone stays on because it's linked up to the heart rate monitor. I told Kletos, watch out for those early bugs in the first minute of the game. Just watch out for bugs in general. And it just really feels like he's going to want to bug early. Boy, he's really playing it cool right now. <laughs> that he's just going to bank on a Kletos Civ shot or something. I hope it doesn't work. <laughs> Nothing much is happening. Where's the real DA? Okay, it is Irish. And he's just going to get that flirt in. Okay, this is already very unlike KCM. Um, not wildly so, but that's okay. I did tell him, so we played 10 games when KCM did show the other night. We just played 10 games anyway, and I tried to play a little like KCM. And I had a couple games where I got away with microfilm and bug, and I specifically said, like, don't let me get away with those, because he's going to do those against you. Especially bug, but microfilm for sure. He's going to go statueless or silent. And that's going to be free, like that was green and off screen, but I really hope, I really hope he pays attention to that kind of stuff. Seduce is done. Got that done early. There's a whole minute left, though. He's got a lot to do. But he's going to bug right after this BB, I think. There's the bug. Oh, I don't think Kletos caught it. Oh, no. Oh, no. And microfilm and then BB, maybe. Maybe BB first because he has the drink. Crap. I mean, that bug was... I mean, it was right in front, but that's why maybe Kletos wouldn't be looking. And Toby blocking a little bit, and there's just so much movement. It's one of those things, and I had this against KCM, is that... And the red. Oh. This doesn't look good. He could still catch it, though. It could be a white test. There's no cover. He's going to do this at the end of the game and hope there's like a statue rush or something. Kletos has still got one more chance here. This is exactly the game I warned him about, is the bug microfilm game. Come on, Kletos. Come on, buddy. We need a white test. Come on, bud. Oh, yeah, he's rotating the right time. Come on, right now. It's green. No, he's moving. It's the pillar. It's the pillar. It's one nothing. Two green microfilms. Two green microfilms. That's rough. Oh. Okay. I think that, that was his hope there. He needed a white, and I think he might have caught that, but he was just really looking elsewhere. 
That bug was really aggressive. Um, I feel like Cleto should have caught it. Ugh. Yeah, one nothing. I don't have a scoreboard, sorry. I'm just going to say it every time. Cleto's with a quick window leave. Uh, KCM cares about early activity. He will ding you for early flirts. Cleto's goes to center statues a lot, but KCM also hates shooting for that kind of thing, so I don't know if it's going to matter that much. The thing Cletus needs to be careful about here is he can't take just a wildly aggressive bug. Because KCM will get him on that. In fact, I don't know if he wants to bug at all. I feel like Perloin or Swap are just way more likely to work here. Cletus loves fingerprint. Fingerprint's not bad against him. If he can combine a fingerprint with a Swap or a, a well-timed Perloin... Oh, didn't get the inspects? Oh, jeez, because of Smallman. Well, that's not too bad. If he inspects Swaps later, that can really work. I think Bug is the hardest hard tell to get by KCM, relatively speaking, relative to how easy Bug normally is. Okay, Cleto's is going to do it here. This probably means not a swap, though, unless he's going to go back a third time, which actually might work against KCM. I really think Perlin and Swap are the way to go. KCM, though, is not... He's going to have a good mission count, and he's not going to get suckered in by the they didn't go to statues or they didn't BB, so I don't have to shoot yet thing. That's the thing. Oh, boy. He's going to go back for the fingerprint now, too. That's a little aggressive. KC, that's the kind of thing KCM will notice at this point, because he was really watching that area before. So fingerprint's done, inspect's done. Oh, I mean, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. But the thing is, we're not one seduce away. If we were one seduce away, I'd say it'd be really tempting to swap and then go seduce while the greens swap or whatever is waiting, and then give him 10 seconds. Instead, we're going to try to do both of these here. Just space it out, buddy. You got 90 seconds. KCM wants you to space stuff out because KCM spaces stuff out. That shows you what KCM thinks is spy like. Red. The fact that KCM spaces his things out tells you what he thinks is spy like. So when you don't space stuff out, he thinks that's suspicious. Normal drink tag, good move, good move. Okay, if he's not dead yet, there's a really good chance he can win this. Oh, 55. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, he's going to have to get close and maybe get a green. There's plenty of time. Okay, be really careful with your pathing, buddy. Don't be too aggressive about this. If you lose this on the flirt, you could totally lose this on the flirt to KCM. If you bug, I will... F don't you dare bug. Don't you dare bug. Okay, Sam is still there. If he doesn't hit this green, he's going to have to do really aggressive flirting of the type that KCM could absolutely catch. KCM is not onto him. If he hits the green, it's a win. If he doesn't, it gets really scary. He might still get away with it, though. Come on, buddy. Come on. Hit that green. He's banking on the green. Oh, no! Now he has to leave. And he's going to have to leave and walk by the amba. Go to the pad. Go to the gallery pad. A gallery pad. Painting pad. I always call it a gallery pad. This is going to be a little aggressive, but he might get away with it, especially if there's no overtime. Do not leave, ST. Salmon, salmon, cement your feet to the floor, buddy. It's going to be just a little bit overtime. Just going to be just a little bit overtime. No, no! He had it. Oh. He had it. He he absolutely he could have he got absolutely he played that game really well there. I think he just he should have squeezed in a little closer on the second flirt, and then he could have just timered. And if he hits the green it wins. Oh, I I saw that coming in slow motion from so far away. I said if he hits it he's fine, but if he has to bounce back and forth super quick, that's exactly the kind of thing that would swing the game. That's the kind of thing KCM catches. Was that? No. Okay, that wasn't a bug attempt. There is a bug, and KC he's got it already. Come on, but Oh, come on. Yeah! Oh, I hope that's not a statue highlight. I don't know what that is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he's a suspect. If he's not, the game's over. Is, this is what he does, man. He knows Sorry is suspicious, though. I've bugged with Sorry against him. He's just going to go swap. He's just going to go crazy right here. He's just going to go in and contact. Oh, no. The Amba's, the Amba's blocking the and statue, the too. The Amba's blocking the statue. The Amba's blocking the statue. That's that's ridiculous with the Amba. That's ridiculous. That's Is that the fastest SCL mission win on Ballroom? <sighs> if the Amba's not blocking that statue, I think he could have. I think he could have salvaged it. Mm. That's really close to the record. This is ballroom, man. I told him to pick it. I think it was a good pick still.
All right. I mean, I saw, as soon as he swapped, I thought, oh, no. Uh, if the ambassador doesn't block it, it's fine, but with the ambassador blocking... If the ambassador even one cycles its statues, it probably doesn't work. Record with OJ? Oh, almost definitely. But... <laughs> just gotta play a nice, calm game, Kletos. You gotta sp score a spy win here. Oh. Yeah, he might have swapped because of the amba, and if he did, that's just great. It's a good mix of good luck and good opportunism combined. Oh, I know KCM plays ballroom, but KCM plays everything a bunch. This is this is the best relative advantage for Kletos. And the end of red. Absolutely. No question. And we saw why. He, he basically, he was one action test away from winning his spy game there. I also don't know if he was going to listen to me anyway. Like, I think he might, he was already leaning ballroom when we talked about it, so. This is all relative. KCM's a favorite probably on any venue. Um, so it's all about relative favoritism. Now, Kletos played a really good game there. I just think he should have been a little more aggressive with the flirt early on, because being aggressive with the flirt late reads totally different. So even though it, you don't want to be aggressive with the flirt in general against KCM, at that point, everything you do is twice as suspicious with the flirt at the end of the game. And if he's already onto you for the fingerprint, there's a chance it's not going to matter. So I think Kletos played a really, really solid first spy game, though, and it just almost worked. And KCM just, you know, went, oh, white test. We're totally behind the pillar. We're totally behind the pillar. Very end. Oh, the hand. The hand. I don't like that KCM's camera was so still there, though. I really don't. The very end of it was visible. I don't know if you want to bug here. I think he might be, I think he might be on to rocker. I'm a little worried about this. He might just be checking the guest list, though. Come on, Seek. Seek, do something. We already got a fingerprint. We got half a microfilm. There's a lot of ways for him to finish here. Purloin's probably not the best one right now, though. Don't go chase Flirt yet. Oh, he's going to go get this done now. Three shelves. Work behind the pillar completely, though, again. Oh, he's moving to make sure Rocker is visible. Come on, somebody do something. Not yet, Kletos. Not yet, Kletos. I'm worried he's got... I'm worried he's looking at Kletos. I'm really worried he's looking at Kletos here. This just feels so deliberate. No, it's not a good time. Take it out. Take it out and walk away. He's got it. He was he was waiting on that. He was waiting on that. All right, it's looking pretty bad, you guys. <laughs> it's looking pretty bad. Oh, that spy game, I think. Yeah, Cletus knew it wasn't a good time, which is why he didn't do it. But you can't wait there either. So what he needs to do is walk out with the book. You got to walk out with the book, or you got to give up on it and go back later. I don't know. I think he actually suspected the first white microfilm. That laser not moving was a big deal. Oh. <sighs> All right, well, that heart rate might stay a little lower now unless Kletos uh, pulls out some big wins. Those first two games really felt like it because there was a bug on screen and a couple of green microfilms, and then Kletos played a really good spy game that he didn't quite win. He was an action test away, and it's just like Kletos could have been up to nothing. And KCM playing with a lead is just so different than KCM playing after a couple of tough losses. But you never know. I mean, I've seen crazier stuff. That's going to be an early green purloin from KCM. He's already got the book. I don't know if Kletos even saw the reject, and that means a shot's going to come off one way or the other. <sighs> yeah, so KCM's just got a big head of steam now, and he's just barreling ahead. Kleto's not zooming in. I don't know if he's even seen the list or not. He's just zoomed in now when Rocker took, and now I'm really worried that he if he has, he has, might not have no sense of when that happened because it's been a long time. So if anything, I'm actually kind of hoping that he missed it completely and and thinks he missed it completely because then he's not going to overreact. That green book's going to get dumped in blue, and now KCM could just bug in whatever, I think, because he's be seducing kind of late. Yeah, I don't know if he's seen the list, and that's actually my, my best hope now is actually that he takes a late aggressive shot based on BB or statue visits or something because it, it's going to have to be a Hail Mary shot, probably. Because if he feels confident about who took the list, he's probably mistaken, and he's going to shoot the wrong person. If he's not confident, at least, he'll do something aggressive, and something aggressive is what he needs to do now. Come on, KCM, miss that pad. No. Okay, so KCM could have trouble finishing here, but the problem is it's just so likely Kletos is going to shoot somebody. That's a green from across, 38%. 
Yeah, no, he's he's done here. Um, he, I mean, like we could be talking about if Kletos determines that he's behind though and gets a few lowlights, and then just only a few people could real BB and he shoots a talker. Like that, honestly, might be his best way to win this game right now if he's really two hard tells behind. But if he knows it, you know. Question is, is Casey? I'm gonna go silent or statueless. Maybe both. I could totally see him bugging and flirting. Come on, come on, sorry, keep moving. Keep moving, sorry. Keep bouncing. Get those steps in, sorry. Don't settle down, don't settle. Go to, go, to, go to statue, go to statue, yeah. Oh no, he can go across and flirt. He doesn't want, look at that. He really doesn't want to go to statues because he could have gone to statues there and gotten inspects and flirts across the way. He does not want to go to statues this game and give Kletos a way out. You say he's gonna do that? Come on, Kletos. He failed, okay, red test. She's already low lit, so he's not going to frame her. Oh, Kletos, hold this shot, buddy. Hold it. He's just going to get the DA in. And I think he's going to bug. I think he's going to bug. Banana bread. He's not zoomed in, so he's he's not going to stop talk. Can't pearl in again. Oh, this bug. Oh, the ambassador's in such a buggable position if he wants to loop around to shelves. Highlights for real BB. Nope, back down. You gotta zoom in, you gotta zoom in. There's stuff happening in the back. He's gonna bug, he's gonna bug. Yep, that's game. Did he see it? Did he see it? There's the laser, come on. Nope, nope. It did look like he was about to shoot. The laser moved a little bit there. The laser moved a little bit there. You can't be highlighting at that point, though, because the purloin's already got gone off, and there's 30 seconds left, and the BB's gone off. So if someone takes a bug path, that's not a highlight situation. That is a shoot or ignore situation at that point. Yeah, that's the problem, but Lazy Bear. Exactly right. If you get to the point where that's the only thing you're suspecting them for at the end of the game, then you can't do it. So, uh, uh that's only five, noob. So <laughs> he doesn't need that. Yes, yeah, that's five, and that's that's probably it. You never know. Um, if Kletos does pull this off, you're going to see me die on stream. We're going to have video, a video record of me dying. Uh, but it's, it was the first two games because both of the first two games were very winnable for Kletos. Yeah, ties, ties are not enough. Ties are not enough. Uh, oh, right, jeez. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you meant to. Uh, I'm still thinking like a caster casting a normal match. I really am. I mean, I guess I can. The only thing I feel good about right now is that almost everything I've predicted in these games has happened. <laughs> Problem is, I've been predicting KCM wins in a certain way, and they've all been happening exactly that way. Oh. Mm. And Kletos is a suspect. I don't know. I think he got marked for that stop. I mean, I'm, I'm paying a little less attention now, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't know. He went in anyway? Ugh, I think it's over. You just need KCM to shoot a sieve is the problem, and KCM doesn't shoot sieves. When we went into our Week 8 matchup, he hadn't shot any sieves. He shot a couple in that match, but it was kind of shocking. Um, I, I'd have to check. I don't think he shot any against Kaylee, but I would have to look. Yeah, you can't pause and then no one enters and uh, no one leaves and then you go in anyway. So I just think it's going to be microfilm and dead. Yep. That's it. That is it. Uh, I'll watch the last game. Uh, there was not as much tension after those first two games as I had hoped. GG's. Oh, two years in a row it comes down to the last match and doesn't quite happen. That's rough, but that's diamond. That's diamond. Yeah, those first three games are really, really close. I think Kletos, and I think if he'd kind of hit him right out of the gate, I think that would have been a really big deal. I think that would have put KCM on his heels a little bit, and he would have played a little differently. Instead, KCM was playing with, you know, confidence and style that, you know, he normally does, and, you know, good for him. So, and it's going to be an instant white swap. Yeah, he's just going to go crazy. He's just going to go crazy. My wife has very generously opened the door and let the cat in. The cat is for comfort. <laughs> He's a very nice cat. Big fluffy cat. Mm. My biggest fan. One pixel, as Opie says. I'm gonna clip that big thing I talked about on the stream the other night. Uh, if you change one pixel in my game against KCM in week three, a balcony game, uh, the outcome will be different. 
that's what it comes down to, man. The margins. The margins are so small. So small. Okay. Well, now that that's done, uh, this is not a put on at all. This is completely genuine. Congratulations to KCM. He was exceptional this season. I could tell right right out of the gate that he was different this season, that he was playing with confidence and style and the skill that I know he's capable of. I was surprised that he got predicted to finish so low preseason. I thought everyone was sleeping on him. I didn't know if it was going to be me or him with Kaylee in the finals, but I thought it would probably be one of us. And uh, I thought he was going to be a bigger hurdle than most other people did because I know... I know what's in him, and uh, I admire the hell out of it. And even though I don't do a very good job of imitating him, I try to imitate him more than I try to imitate anyone else. So it is an honor to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him and occasionally even win, and it's an honor to, uh, to have it come down to this against him too. So I wish him absolutely the best. As a player, I'm, of course, disappointed. As a caster, I am thrilled to be casting KCM Kaylee again. I had so much research after my crappy 1-2 uh, and two start, or 0-2 oh start. I had so much research already for KCM Kaylee. I started doing my research weeks in advance, and then somehow I pulled off the crazy streak. I went 6-1-1 one and, one and actually made a game of it. And I thought, well, I might waste that research, but that's a good problem to have. Oh, here's my cat. Hey, buddy. Here he is. Oh, this guy. This guy. Come on. Oh, here, buddy. He's a good cat. Okay. Um... And it's actually going to be nice to get to cast that and to use all that cool research, to use all those cool stats, use my apocalyptic rhetoric uh, to describe the matchup. Um, so yeah, I, it's win-win, because no matter what, I get to play with these fine folks, and I get to cast this incredible rematch of Season 3. And, you know, uh, KCM can do it. I, wa I, I will be rooting for another great match like they've always given us. Uh, so I wish them all the best. They're both great ambassadors for the game and great competitors. So I admire the hell out of both of them. And uh, thank you to Kletos for putting up with all my ridiculous hype and everything. What are the odds on KCM against Kaylee? I don't know. I think it would be really, really tough not to make Kaylee a favorite at all. But I, I would caution against making him too big a favorite uh, because KCM has shown he can do it. I think what it's going to come down to uh, what it's going to come down to is KCM Sniper locking down Kaylee's spy. Because we know we can get the spy wins by. And the fact that they're going to play so many different venues means he's going to get a chance to get those spy wins. And he can get the spy wins even on the less favorable ones. I believe he can get multiple spy wins again. So the question is, is he going to lock down that spy? You know, is he going to punish Kaylee? for his spy play, you know, because Kaylee's going to test him. We know he's going to test him at some point. He's going to mix in some subtle games, too. I know he does. I think if we'd been in the finals, I think he might have come out with a soft tail game against me right away, and he might against KCM, too. He's going to counterplay just enough. Just enough. Uh, but, yeah, KCM needs to needs to really bust him, you know, on the aggressive spy play when it happens, because it's still going to happen a fair bit, even though even if it doesn't always. One of the Diamond Finals. Um... It's about three or four weeks. Uh, it was posted somewhere, but it's going to be near the end. We always make a point to do Diamond Finals last. And there aren't as many finals to do this time because of the tournament position. So my guess is once we finish week 13, once the regular season ends, the Gold and Platinum Finals are going to happen real quick. They might even technically happen before. We've asked people to kind of wait, but they don't have to. And it's understandable if they don't want to. And then Diamond will be after that. So probably a few weeks from now. Uh, probably right after I get back from Denver, actually. So uh, that's how it's going to go. Yeah. Uh, Lazy Bear says, it's such a pleasure to watch him play Spy. That's the way I think of it, too. Um, uh, he is the standard for Spy, uh, certainly. So so I, I enjoy watching it. I enjoy studying it. And, uh, and I just enjoy playing with these guys. I enjoy playing with them. I enjoy playing with them so much. And by enjoy, I mean that I hate it when it's happening, and then I enjoy it so much when I look back on it or when I watch it from afar like this. Um, and, uh, well, I don't know if you guys have any questions. Uh, you know, go ahead and ask. I'm going to call it pretty soon, though. Probably do a little yard work, work off some of this stress a little bit. Um, I find that after a match, if I, if I win even, there's just too much energy to disperse. 
even if I win, right? It's like I got to get it out, and I, it takes me a whole half a day sometimes from a crazy match to come down. When I beat KCM in week eight, the, the whole next 24 hours, I just felt like like I was vibrating. Um, and I feel a little like that now, and I knew I was going to feel like this win or lose for Kletos. So it ended up being a little anticlimactic. Uh, but those first few games, oh, man. Oh, boy. Those first few games are so good. Those first few games are so good. Really hats off to Kletos for coming out swinging. He played a really good first spy game. And I know it doesn't seem like that should matter when it was 7-0. But uh, if he'd scored that win, especially if he'd gone up like 2 nothing, I think that whole match could have gone different. You know, it really can. So, all right. Good show, everybody. Uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> You'll have to let me know what the heart rate got up to. I don't actually know. Um, uh, just really good job to all involved. And uh, Oh, oh, there are some questions. Okay, do you do as much research on other division players? Uh, no, no, I, I can't, because I can't. It's just not plausible. I don't have time. Um, there are certain matches, if I can tell it's going to be a big cast, it's a really important cast, a really big match, and I have a little more time than usual, I will do a lot of research sometimes. But nothing like I do for my matches, because... It's just not plausible. <laughs> it's just too much. The only thing I feel good about right now is that I have a trip to Denver in a few weeks, and the match was going to have to be, if I'd made the finals, it was going to have to be after that. And uh, if Kletos had won that, I think I would have felt obligated to sign off and start prepping immediately, and I would have just had to cram, no joke, every single replay Kaylee has ever made public uh, again. And do levels of granular research that I've literally never done before, even earlier this season. In this new season, I did some new stuff, and it helped. It just wasn't quite enough. Every little percent matters when people want to know, why do you why do you spend so much time on this stuff? You just saw why. One pixel. That's the difference. That's what we're dealing with here, and you never know. Try hard. Stay hungry. Be sweaty. I don't care. I'm a sweaty try hard. No shame about it. I'd feel shame if I wasn't, so... Uh, and KCM is too, man. He tries hard in a different way. He thinks about the game abstractly. I don't think he does as much like direct prep, but he's got this in his bones, you know. So uh, I can't wait for the finals. I can't wait for the finals. I'm pretty sure they're going to let me cast it. If they don't, I will threaten someone physically until they do. So uh, you will see me again then, and you'll see me every weekend until then, most likely. So... Sweaty tryhards, trackers, unite. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching, uh, and I will see you next time.